my friends, it's Lisa, and welcome to another 24 hour readathon vlog. I'm so excited. I'm going to be doing this readathon with the besties, Darian and Casey, as always. I actually realized yesterday, I think, that this is the first 24 hour readathon that the three of us are doing together this year. I don't know how we've made it halfway through the year without doing a readathon together yet, but it's wild that it's taken this long, but we're finally doing one. We're finally fixing that. <laughs> so yeah, the three of us are doing a 24 hour readathon today. We're starting pretty soon at noon. So I wanted to talk through my TBR before the readathon officially started. And I definitely feel like my TBR this time around is a little bit more reasonable. Sometimes I feel like with my readathon, my 24 hour readathon TBRs, I'm very ambitious. I have a lot of plans and then I end up getting like not even halfway through those plans. So I'm always like overestimating how much I'm going to read. <laughs> but this time I think I'm being a little bit more reasonable. So first I'm going to finish what I'm currently reading, which is Beach Read by Emily Henry. I am 81% of the way through this ebook and I think I have like exactly... 50 pages left of the ebook. So I'm going to start the readathon off by finishing that and hopefully get that done within the first like hour or two. Like I don't want that to take longer than two hours. I don't think it will, but I'm going to try and get that done first. And then after I finish Beach Read, I'm going to pick up the book that's probably going to take up the majority of this readathon. And that is Clockwork Prince by Santa Claire. This is the June book for the Shadowhunters read along. So I want to get started on this and potentially finish it. I really don't know. I don't know how long this is going to take me. I think this book is like close to 500 pages. Yeah, it's 498 pages. So basically 500 pages. And I don't know if I'll be able to finish that in the 24 hour readathon. I feel like I could potentially. In general, Shadowhunter books don't take that long for me to read. But also the fact that this is going to be my third time reading this book. I'm already pretty familiar with the story, with the characters, with everything that happens. So I could finish this in 24 hours. I really do not know. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> but at least I will be starting it and probably getting a decent amount of the way through the book if I don't finish it. And that is going to probably be what I read a majority of the time. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to sob. I feel like these books just make me so emotional because I love these characters so much. And there's like two specific things that I think might happen in this book. One might happen in the next one, but I think one happens in this book and I'm just, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I just love Jem and I can't wait for him to be the best boy in this book. Thank you. <laughs> so Beach Read and Clockwork Prince is going to be like the main plans for the readathon. I do currently have an audiobook going. I'm listening to Rise to the Sun by Leah Johnson. I always want to say she who rises to the sun. I'm combining she who became the sun and rise to the sun in one title and they couldn't be more different books. <laughs> I'm 29% of the way through the book. I have like five and a half hours left and my only plan with this is just to make any sort of progress. I think I like having audiobooks going during 24-hour readathons. If I can't be like physically holding a book and reading, it's nice to have an audiobook going. So I'm still reading, but if I need to stop for any reason, then I can and still feel like I'm being productive for the readathon. So I'm going to probably listen to this during the 24 hour readathon, but I don't plan on finishing it. I'm just going to see if I can listen to literally 1% of it in this 24 hour readathon. That's really all I want with that. So yeah, those are the reading plans. I feel like that's like a reasonable expectation. If I do end up finishing Clockwork Prince, we will solve that problem when we get there. I do have a few books that I'm thinking of picking up next if I finish Clockwork Prince, but I don't even know if that will happen. So we will cross that bridge when we get there. So that is my TBR for the readathon, and it's currently 11.43. We're starting at noon, so in like just over 15 minutes. So I'm going to like get myself situated. I'm sure we're going to be going on a Zoom call to chat and read together. So I'm going to just get ready for that. But yeah, the readathon starting soon. That's my TBR. Let's see how much I can read at 24 hours because I'm a little rusty because I haven't done a 24 hour readathon in a while. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Hello, here we are. <laughs> oh, stunning. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> oh, you're filming, Sam. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> So a little bit of an update, it is 5.04, which you probably can't see it, you just have to believe me. <laughs> so it's a little after 5 o'clock and I wanted to give some initial updates on my reading. So I finished Beach Read earlier, I read that I think within like the first hour of the readathon, I think it was like exactly an hour when I finished it. So happy with that, I'm going to keep my thoughts and feels to myself for a little bit longer, I'm reading it for a vlog. I'm reading a lot of books for a lot of vlogs, so I'm sorry I'm not giving my thoughts on anything recently. <laughs> but I only have one book left for that particular vlog, so hopefully that'll be coming soon. But I did finish that, and then I also started Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare, and I'm currently on... what page am I on? I'm on page 110. So I'm getting through this pretty quickly. I feel like I will at least get halfway through before I go to sleep tonight, or at least make that my goal before I go to bed. And so far, of course, I'm absolutely loving it. It's so funny. Like, Will, <laughs> he's just so funny. And also, like, Jem has an underrated, I feel like, humor. Like, he sometimes says things that's just, like, so unexpected from him, but are really funny. And, like, also Tessa. Like, I just think the dynamic between all three of them is so good, which is why I love these books so much. And it's just making me so happy. And, like, a character's been introduced and I like like the romance between this character and another character, and I don't know if there's like a moment between them that I just love, and I don't know if it happens in this book or the next one, but we will see. So yeah, I'm just having the best time reading this, as I expected I would, because I do love this trilogy so much, so I'm having a good time with this. And now I think I'm just gonna read until we have dinner. Me and Darian and Casey have ended our little Zoom call. Me and Darian just got off of the call like five minutes ago. Casey is taking a nap, so she left a little earlier, but now that we're off the Zoom call, I'm just going to read until I have dinner, and then I am going to be on the Winers uh, Book Club live show for, for Blood and Ash tonight, which is at 6.30, so that'll probably last like an hour, and that'll be a nice way to like break up the readathon, I think. So yeah, I'm just going to read until I have dinner, and then we'll probably try and read between dinner and the live show, and then that will be a nice little break, and then we'll probably just get right back into reading. So we'll see. I'm I'm really gonna try and finish this in the 24 hours. I really don't know if that will happen, but I'm gonna try my hardest. <laughs> okay, I literally haven't even started reading again yet, but the way Taylor Swift has a song coming out tonight at midnight, she really did that for me, Casey, and Darian. She really said, here you go. I feel like anytime me, Darian, and Casey do anything, Taylor Swift also does something. She's trying to show us up. <laughs> So we will be listening tonight at midnight because I will be awake because I will be doing this readathon. So stunning, stunning behavior on our part and Taylor's part. Good work, team. <laughs> Okay, the live show for From Blood and Ash just ended and I've gotten into my pajamas. I think me and Darian are like taking a quick break and are going to just get back on a Zoom call and start reading again. I did read a little bit before dinner and the live show. I probably should get the book. <laughs> the amount of times I start vlogging and like forget that I need to like have the book that I want to talk about, it's stupid how many times that happens, but I'm on chapter 7, page 137. So. I'm getting there. Uh, we'll see if I reach the halfway point. I think I'll be able to. But yeah, took a quick break for dinner and for the From Blood and Ash live show, which I'll have linked below if you want to go and watch it, because it was really funny. There were a variety of opinions on the book, which made it really fun, and it was just like such a fun live show. So I'll have it linked below if you want to go and hear our thoughts. Uh, but that was like a nice little break to kind of give myself a break from reading. And now it's, I had to check my clock. It's like 8.10. So probably I'm just going to be reading the rest of the night on Zoom with Darian and then eventually Casey. And we'll see how late I stay up because normally granny has to go to sleep. So <laughs> we'll see how late I end up staying up. But I'm going to try and get halfway before I fall asleep. Probably should have gotten a mirror, but that's fine. Oh, so true. <laughs> Why are you so quiet? Oh, oh there we go. Because <laughs> sometimes it doesn't like pick up on all of the, this looks cute. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I feel like Shrek. Donkey. <laughs> donkey. That'll do, Donkey. <laughs> That'll do. I just can be like, oh, that was cute, and it's like, oh, there's another story. <laughs> and then there's more. Also, like, I mean, obviously these are all different, and they're by different authors, but they kind of are like, here's a girl, she meets another girl, then they kiss. Here's a girl, she meets another girl, then they kiss. Yeah. Here's a boy, he meets another boy, then they Guess kiss. Guess what, they guess. <laughs> I'm like, uh -huh, uh huh And then it's like, here's a girl, she doesn't want to kiss anyone. Here's a Good boy. for her. <laughs> I like it, but... <laughs> I was gonna say, I bet that would be good to read, like, over time. Wow. It's giving Shrek. Uh. <laughs> I hate it, but I love it. Okay, and then maybe I'll actually read. Oh my god, you're like 800 pages No, this is what I've read. I know, but <laughs> it looks like a lot. I'm on page 142. Oh my god. I just there's also a part that I can't remember if it happens in this book or in the next book so I'm like I gotta get to it and see <laughs> Okay, we are officially in the final stretch of the readathon. It's now 10:26 of the next day, obviously, <laughs> and we now have like an hour and a half left of the readathon. So I'm gonna make this quick so I can get back into reading. So I did sleep. I always sleep during 24-hour readathons. I can't stay up all night. That's just not gonna happen. So it was like a little before two, I think, when I went to sleep, and I got to page. 334 of Clockwork Prince before going to bed last night. So definitely made it way past the halfway point. So very happy with that. And I did do some reading this morning while I was having my coffee and everything. And I'm now on page 401. So I have like just under 100 pages left of the book. And I think I'll be able to complete it in the next hour and a half. Like I'm, I'm pretty confident that I might be able to finish this. I think me and Darian are about to hop on another Zoom call. So hopefully that will motivate me to finish this. And then I also have been listening to the audiobook for Rise to the Sun. I listened to it a little bit before going to bed last night and this morning while I was like doing the dishes and everything. I'm now 43% of the way through the book. So I haven't listened to a ton, but it's something. And I really just wanted to listen to it at like some point during this 24-hour readathon. So I'm happy with that. I now have four hours and 20 minutes left of the audiobook. So very happy with my progress there as well. But yeah, I think that my plan is to finish this. I don't know if I'm going to have any time at the end of the readathon to read anything else. If I do, I think my plan is to pick up the Atlas Six by Olivia Blake, but I don't know if I'm going to get to that point, but if you see me holding it, that means I'm starting it. But I do think that reading the rest of this might take the rest of the 24-hour readathon. So we'll see what happens, but I'm going to go get on that Zoom call with Darian and try and finish this before the readathon ends. Fingers crossed I can do it. Bye. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> we did it, lads. We did it. Hi. Hi. Oh. We did it. 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 Whatever. So true. <laughs> All right, friends. It's now a little after 12:30. It's like 12. 
38. So the readathon has officially ended. So I just wanted to chat about what I read and the amount of pages and everything that I read. So I did yesterday within the first hour of the readathon finish Beach Read by Emily Henry. And I read like 50 pages of the ebook, but I know that that doesn't necessarily translate to the paperback. I think it would probably be more than 50 pages in the paperback edition, but I'll just say it was 50s to make the math easy. And then I also did manage to finish Clockwork Prince. I'm very impressed with myself. There was a point where I was like, yeah, there's there's no way I'm finishing this. But I managed to finish it with two minutes to spare. It was 11.58 and I finished the book. So very happy about that. And I am going to give this five stars. Of course, I had the best time. This book is just, it's full of angst with the relationships and the romance. And we have some great characters introduced and potentially other romances introduced. And Charlotte and Henry are like such an underrated couple throughout, I feel like, this whole trilogy. But I love them both like individually on their own, but also as a couple. And like any moment with them any moment with henry in particular just always brought a smile to my face he is literally a comedian and he doesn't even know it <laughs> so yeah i just had the best time i also got very emotional there's a lot of emotional moments in this book a lot of moments where you're kind of on a high and then something happens and it's really sad and then you're just pulled in all these different directions cassandra claire really was just like i'm going to make everyone suffer with this love triangle <laughs> and you know what I can't blame her for it because I'm reading it and loving it every time I read it. So she did great. <laughs> and all I really have to say is Jem, best boy. That's it. That's the conclusion to this book. He truly is an angel and I will be taking absolutely no criticism. So there's that. But yeah, I finished this, read the whole thing. Very proud of myself that I managed to read this whole thing in the 24 hours. I, like I said, was planning on maybe picking up the Atlas 6 if I had time, but I didn't start anything in the final two minutes of the readathon. So that is all that I read. And I didn't listen to any more of the audiobook for Rise to the Sun. So I'm still 43% of the way through. I listened to like an hour of the audiobook. So happy about that as well. Like I said, I just kind of wanted to make any sort of progress on that. That wasn't really a priority, but I'm happy that I listened to at least some of it. So some quick math, I ended up reading 548 pages, which is definitely not my highest amount of pages that I've read within a readathon, but it's probably technically a little bit more because the ebook pages and the actual pages of a beach read, I don't think line up. But also like the fact that I was able to read a whole book that I need to read. I'm very happy with it. I was trying to be like productive with what I needed to read this month with my TBR. So I'm happy with that. That's still a lot of pages I feel like especially because like I didn't read any graphic novels or anything so I'm very happy with that oh and then of course the like hour of the rise of the sun audiobook I did listen to that as well so definitely had a productive 24-hour readathon which is always the goal but yeah now the readathon is over I'm going to probably not read again for another few days because I always feel like I need a break after a 24-hour readathon so I probably will get back into reading soon, but I'm so glad that me and the besties did a 24-hour readathon because I think it was well needed and also like we haven't done one like I said earlier in this vlog that we haven't done one all year yet, so I'm glad that we fixed that. We'll probably do more over the summer as well, but thank you to Darian and Casey as always for joining me and doing this readathon with me. It's always so much fun doing it with them and I think both of them were vlogging, so when their vlogs go up, I will have them linked below in the description. I'll also just have their channels linked below so you can go and check them out regardless. But I think that that is going to be it for this 24-hour readathon vlog, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!